everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Rainy day here, but um, I keep getting asked a question, so I wanted to go ahead and do a video talking about it. And um, I've been getting this question a lot lately. <laughs> so here's the question. All right, regarding our dulcimer, I have had people notice that I have four tuning pegs, yet I only have three strings on my dulcimer. Okay. So a lot of people are asking me why that is and is there any benefit to having three over four and so forth. So um, here's my opinion as well as a professional's opinion, okay? So I'm gonna start out with the pro, okay? So who better to go to uh, than the builder? I asked Richard Ash, the owner of Folkcraft, if he would be so kind as to answer my question. And I let him know that I'd be um, giving his answer on a video. So I'm going to read that off for you first before I give my opinion, okay? So you understand what I'm saying here, right? A lot of them will have four strings and that melody string will be doubled up. And mine has three, okay? So that double melody is just a single string now, all right? So here's what Mr. Ash had to say. He says, hi, Mandy, great to hear from you. Three versus four. The current fashion is definitely three. Nearly all the top players push it. There is, there is historic value to both, specifically regional variations. We make most of our instruments with four tuners, but slot the nut and bridge for three strings. This allows switching to four strings down the road. Some builders slot for three and for four, but the nut slash bridge slots aren't ideal for either that way. A single purpose slotting is less versatile, but gives better results, especially in the spacing of the strings. I'll talk about this more later. My personal instruments, the two daily players, one has a single melody string, one has double. I like both. The clarity of sound with a single string makes sense, especially for flat picking. Playing melodies across the strings is more consistent in tone with a single melody string. Double string. I love the sound of this for note or drone style play. My traditionally set up instrument has no, inst has no extra frets of any variety, even the six and a half, and are all are tuned to G tuning, by the way, uh, is optimized for double melody strings and an old fashioned haunting tone. The only famous player I know that uses double melody strings is John Keane. He's great and not a fashion chaser. He plays chord melody with the best of them and makes it sound great with two melody strings. Hope this helps, Mandy. Richard. Okay. Thank you so much, Richard, for taking the time to answer that. I know you're a busy man. Okay. So he talked about um, the nut and the string spacing. Okay. So this is interesting. Uh, what you'll find when you have four strings is you'll find that um, both slots have to sort of be moved a little bit. So you'll find that you don't have equidistant string spacing. All these three strings here are equally spaced apart, okay? So obviously when you add a fourth string, it's going to lessen the space between the first two strings, the two that are real skinny and together, and the middle string. So that space is going to be less, okay? So um, that, for flat picking, especially for me, um, it makes sense to have them all three equally distanced apart, okay? Um, and my hand can just easily do that because they're equally spaced, okay? There's no odd spacing there, um, like there would be with two strings, okay? And he said um, as well that most of their instruments, um, all of them except for the custom ones that you can get, will have four tuners. Um, if you have one custom built, you can get it built with three. Um, but they just do that to give you that option, you know? They, wanna, um, they want you to be happy with whatever sound you are interested in. And I agree with him in that the Notre Drone style uh, sounds better 
with four strings. I totally agree with that. Um, and the Noter drone style is very fast as well, uh, going up and down that melody line. Uh, so there is generally, now don't take anything I say as, you know, 100% of the time, but this is just my experience with it. Generally, um, you're not going to see a ton of embellishments uh, in the Noter drone style. And I think mainly because it's so fast. Um, so you're not going to see all those fancy dancy embellishments. Uh, but as well as the tone, you know, you get that um, more chorusy tone, I guess you'd say, um, with the four strings. But me personally, I prefer the three strings. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. I wanted to talk about with what he said there real quick before I go into my opinion more. Um, yeah, they, you know, most builders want to give you options and especially folk craft. You can get it slotted for four if you want your nut and bridge or three. You can also uh, get, this is another cool thing about folk craft. You can order an extra nut and bridge that are slotted for four. Um, which that way, when you take off your uh, melody string, your extra one, you're going to have equidistant strings if you're using the three. Okay, so now on to my opinion, all right? Um, I started playing dulcimer in around about 2009, and uh, it was all double melody string at least from my perspective back then. Um, I'm not on the dulcimer scene or anything like that, um, but that was the dulcimer that I got. That's what I had seen um, used. And so I just, you know, kept the, the extra melody string. So I kept four strings on there. Um, I played that way all the way up until I got this folk craft right here last year. And, um, let me tell you, it was a game changer for me in a great way. You see, I'm not a Notre Drone style player. I can do some of it and I enjoy playing it, but that is not where I spend, uh, the ma majority of my time, you know, uh, doing the Notre Drone style. I like to be on all three strings. I like to be cording and I like the embellishments as well. So for my style of play, it suits me to have three, okay? So that's something you're going to have to think about, um, you know, when you're getting a dulcimer. And like I said, if you get that full craft, the cool thing is you can have the best of both worlds because you can get the four tuners and you can tell Richard, hey, I also want uh, a nut and bridge slotted for four. I, I, say, I say don't have it slotted for four. I say do the, the three like it comes and then have him add extra because they they're movable they're not glued down or anything and they slide right in and out when you change the strings you can easily just loosen your strings pop in a new nut pop in a new bridge and play some Notre drone style or whatever you want to do if you prefer the sound of the four um and go back and forth very easily and as a side note i have to do this i have a website banjolemonade.com i have beginner courses ebooks i also have all my lessons online for as little as five dollars a month though i do recommend if you're a beginner to get the course okay so you either need to get the course or get the uh, ten dollars a month all access which gives you access to the course because that's the best way it's a guided thing takes you right through step by step uh and then of course i do offer one-on-one -on -one lessons you'll see that over there as well but uh, head on over to BanjoLemonade.com if you're interested in finding out if more. I prefer about. the sound of the four. Um, and go back and forth very easily. Okay. So that's what I would recommend because, you know, you're getting the best of both worlds. And it's not this huge investment there to just have an extra nut and a bridge. Okay. But I also wanted to talk to you more a little bit about um, how it was such a big game changer for me to go from four to three. Whoops. To go from four to three. So, um, I was doing the way that I like to play. You know, I was doing the chord melody and the flat picking and all that with the four strings on there. Um, 
But immediately when I got this, I fell in love with the three strings. First of all, again, because they're equally spaced. There's no wonky spacing there because of that second uh, double melody string. So that helped me flat picking tremendously. Uh, another reason is because of the deeper and wider um, dulcimer that I got from Folkcraft, um, the sound to me was not any better with four strings on my other dulcimers, okay? So my other dulcimer did have four strings. This dulcimer had three. Playing them back to back, the sound to me was not not enough to warrant that extra string. So this thing booms, I love it. Uh, you see it in 99% of my videos because of that. But, um, so that's one reason why I love it, okay? Another reason I love it is because I can do embellishments much quicker and easier on it, okay? So um, just from a beginner standpoint, let's look at it this way, okay? From a beginner standpoint, you're pressing down one string versus two, okay? When you press down anything and fret any stringed instrument, um, you're going to start out by getting a little bit of pain, then you will get some calluses over time as you play, okay? And that's just natural, of course. Of course, you understand that. But if you have two strings there, you've got double now. You've got double the pressing down and the indentation and all that. Now, for me, this is not an issue. I've been playing stringed instruments a long time. I have well-developed calluses. It doesn't matter. But for a beginner, this is a big deal. And I recommend to beginners now um, to remove that double string and start out with three because it just makes everything easier on your fingers. And, um, you know, if you're having less pain and difficulty when you're playing, you're going to play it more. And you're going to get, you know, in my opinion again here, you're going to just enjoy it more with the three as a beginner, okay? Then as you play a little bit, Go ahead and add that four string. See if you like the sound of it. And that's, you know, go from there to make your decision. Um, so for beginners, I do recommend the three. Okay. Um, and another thing, uh, with the embellishments, I don't want to understate this. To me, um, it's just a lot quicker and easier to do all the embellishments on three strings. Um, I think you can probably understand that, you know, versus that double string there. Um, and with taking in consideration all these little things, to me, the best thing for me is to do the three strings versus the four. Um, so overall, for a beginner, again, I want to say three strings, okay, to start out with. But after that, Go ahead, try it. You know, see what you like. See see if you like that better. Um, and definitely, of course, try out the Notre Drone style. I do have an ebook and I have lots of tabs uh, in DAA. And there's many, many, many more tunings. Richard said there that he keeps his in G for that haunting sound, he said. You know, uh, there's many more tunings available to you. I will be exploring some of those, but I just keep it in the main DAD and <laughs> DAA for the most part, just to um, make it easier for everybody. That's the most common tunings, okay? So I hope that this little informational video has helped you uh, in your decision. I hope it has also, you know, made you understand why people are doing this, at least why I'm doing this and why Mr. Ash is doing this. Um, so yeah, I hope you got something out of that. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.